Hello and welcome to my Europa Universalis Let's Play in the extended timeline mod of the custom nation I've made called the Celtic Empire. Now, this episode I was originally planning to invade the Western Roman Empire, but even though it says I have got the strongest military in the world, and I indeed do have a severe number advantage over the Western Romans, they have mercenaries, which means it will not drain their manpower as severely. I would instead have to squish them quite badly, or try to dissuade them from engaging me at all. So instead of this episode, I might try and bring the rest of the Britons under my control. And possibly Ireland as such as well. Now they would not join me since I have threatened them. Connached might be vassalized in the future. Now, I do plan on waiting until the next military tech before trying to take on the Roman Empire, as the new unit will indeed help some. Though indeed they are going to grow stronger the longer I leave them be. It's very questionable if I want to actually go to war with them or not. Especially since if they manage to defeat me they can demand their cores back. Though they only maintain those cores for so long. Now, the most important engagement would be the initial ones, as well as the ones that decide basically how much manpower I manage to keep. But I think it's time, instead of going for the Western Roman Empire, at least for now, I will in instead go for these Irish miners and the Picts. If I can unite this entire area, I have no northern threat and very little reason to keep 15,000 up there all the time. Once that 15,000 is simply this base down here, I could quite easily probably overwhelm the Western Roman Empire. I am still indecisive on ultimately what I want to do. I think I'm going to go with invade Ulaid and Connacht, annex them entirely, and engage the Picts in Munster and the War.
Now this territory up here is also my religion, so no need to convert it. Which also makes it a bit easier, and since then I only have to call it. Which I think will be quite easily achieved once I have the Picts under my belt. I will definitely need Arinsis. I believe I could full annex the Picts in a single war. I will most likely take these three provinces, which are their most valuable ones. So, ooh, this will eventually be achieved. Tech 6, which will enable me to begin carving overseas provinces, even if they are not very far. Now, I'm not sure how the Byzantium is recovering. All this has got very high autonomy, for example. Parthia seems to be annexing a lot of its vassals. Could focus on getting Navarra annexed into my empire. Which would most likely enable me to field another army down here with relatively ease. Or relatively ease. Relative ease. My manpower is just about maxed out. Conquering you laid in Connacht. I could instead possibly Nah, it'll be and take them all directly. right on that, so they're going to probably suffer a little bit. They do have quite the leader. They are at a disadvantage. Preventing my manpower quite hitting the cap, and... That's increased my amount of pips by one, which is very nice. And well... New cavalry room... Have will not be available till Tech 7, so quite a way yet, as it's now 49, 46 years ahead. Be landing directly on their face. Beginning my war against the Picts very soon. They've actually ran off because they do not want to engage me by the looks. So I've got them basically defeated already. Now, the best thing to do here would be take over the Picts and Ireland and then keep to our stabilize this area, which I can quite easily do. And then establish a angle hold on Ireland. That would be an extra 40 or so base tax, which, when taken into consideration as a barbarian tribe, is actually very good. Now, areas with autonomy don't contribute as much, of course. I can deal with that. Of 
course, I do seem to be taking a little bit of a gamble, taking on all of the barbarian tribes, remaining in Britain at once with just three of my armies. This is the fact that the Picts, Munster, and the two Ulaid and Knatched altogether could indeed put up quite a fight. They were don't have much concern about it. They seem to be scared to engage me here. And that basically all the empires in the game have reached Tech 5, or all the nations rather. All the barbarian tribes in there. all of these managed to bust the wall so I'm pretty happy because that's going to make it pretty quick. To deal with the picked army I will probably push it back with... I'll probably attack with one, wait till it's around half my round then send in the other. It would be a pretty devastating strategy against them as the other one might then be able to pursue them which would enable me to possibly squish their stack if they retreat to, say, Kit or would otherwise be known as the High Ones. Well, Stir's about... it's nearing the edge of falling, so that's a very good thing. And there is also the fact that if I engage these, these might come in, but they might not. There's no definite to that. They nevertheless decided they would attack me. Which got them pretty bad. Injured. I'm going to pursue their army and see if I can capture it and squish it. I can't squish it, it seems, but I've caught it. Now, I, it'll be basically impossible to lose this battle. Now I'm gonna... they're gonna get a C penalty and a penalty for attacking to high ones up here. I'm gonna crush the Irish C. Deal with the Irish miners here. And possibly take all of Ireland in one swoop. crush these. No, they'll get a tick. That's very bad. They'll either retreat to Connacht or to there. I'm going straight back to here or there. So they'll either way lose their armies now. Like that. They'll enable me to fully annex both of these. I have built around 20,000 units, which is pretty considerable. Easily got more on the mainland. I only have to move my navy temporarily. But either way, it's around the time I end the episode. I'll finish this war next this episode, so bye for now.